So these are the lows for the day. Here is the very latest on Hurricane Lee. Winds of 160 miles an hour. As the hurricane hunters went in, they found that the pressure just bottomed out and it will likely continue to intensify. Now, storms don't just continuously increase in intensity. As a matter of fact, as we start to see the storm slow down north of the islands, we should start to see the intensity begin weakening. So it will likely peak at winds of 175 miles an hour tomorrow. Unbelievable. Thankfully, you know what? Always interesting to watch these storms if they stay out over the open water, and that is certainly still the hope. The big question mark comes in on Tuesday into Wednesday as the upper steering kind of slackens and the storm remains very very slow. I don't think stationary, but we'll be moving very, very slow. It'll be in this time exactly where the storm is will determine where and who it possibly impacts as it begins a northerly turn. What we're looking at is the ensemble models of both the GFS in red and the Euro in white. Both of them indicating a turn well away from the West Coast. Now, there are some ensemble models of the Euro that are placing what is the storm itself at this point weakening, but a fairly potent storm moving toward the New England states. Certainly something that I'd be watching. Bermuda, certainly much of the East Coast, something to watch. Doesn't look to be much of a concern, maybe more of a concern in the New England states. But again, this turn doesn't happen until Wednesday, and we've got a lot of time to watch that. Just wanted to show you these stats real quick. In 24 hours, Lee went from a tropical storm to a hurricane, and in 30 hours it went from a Cat 1 to a Cat 5. So this is what we call rapid intensification. Certainly we